Alrighty then, so let's go ahead and take a look at this sketchbook. Even when I was 15 and 16, obsessed with Peter Pan! Up here. Alright, by this time I was drawing with the anime style. Oh, that's sweet. Please don't need me. Um, Patsy, this is my cousin Patsy, and I drew her as an angel. And then here's my cousin Paul as an angel or whatever. That is so not true. Alright, we've got a bunny who's been almost decapitated down the middle of her face. <laughs> oh, that's a cute bunny girl too. Aw, we got my puppy Maggie. That's sweet. I don't know what's going on in here. I love drawing these faces though. We've got some intense, intense intention going on here. It's like Ariel and Eric, but it's not. And I did not want to do his feet. <laughs> That's hilarious right there. <laughs> Aw, look at this demented little cat. Oh, that's pretty. She's an angel. Uh, we have a pirate. Don't know what's going- Elsa! I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Ooh, this is pretty. She's got a crystal. I love her hair. That hair is really good. That's really pretty. Oh, we got a witch. This must have been around, um... Halloween time, possibly, maybe. I don't see a reason why I would draw another witch and I totally gave up on this cat. This cat's like, nope. Looks like a dog. Ah, New York City. Look at this awesome. <gasps> yeah, because this is this is the outfit I wore. So back, back then, I was even drawing my outfit of the day. This was when I was in New York City at, when I was 16 years old. So yeah, we're in, we're in October right now because this was completely my birthday. Look at this. I was not afraid to do backgrounds back then. I was all for it. Oh my goodness. That's the that's the monster from Lady in the Water. Oh my goodness. I do not like his hair. Oh, that's Aragon with the elf. I forgot the elf's name. Um, there's a wolf. Always look on the bright side of life. Oh yes, I drew myself with my cousin Paul because we went and saw the off-Broadway tour of Spam a lot. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Look at that face. I guess these are all my, all my friends and I drew us on a picture. Oh, that's funny. It's like Inception because I showed them all this. And look, I drew myself with all my friends. And then, ah, ha, ha, it's funny. Well, that's a little scary. I mean, we've got clearly someone who looks like light and then someone who's, ooh, battle armor. A unicorn and a dragon. That's really cool. Oh, I think that's Paul and I again. I really love drawing my cousin Paul and I. Whoa, major action going on right now. Dang, this is cool. That's pretty cool dimension. Like how the, that's cool. I like this. A bookmark. I'm gonna leave it right there because that looks cool. Oh wait, this is cute. Oh, lift me up to catch one. Why would I want, why would you want one when you already have mine? Oh! I don't know what's going on here. It's a weird looking dragon. What is happening? <laughs> He's got lamb paws. That's really sweet. Ah, it's Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy. Here's my dog as a princess, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty dress. This was when I really started getting into folds of dresses. Oh, here we go. Here's some life advice. No boy is worth crying over, and the one that is won't make you cry. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is cool, because back in the day, I started to illustrate all of Josh Groban's songs. So here is February's song, and I put the lyrics on the side, and then I would draw something to go around with it. All right, so we have So She Dances. I don't think that's the same character, but I like how I did her ballet slipper. This is... Here's another one. You are loved. Oh, it's a coat hanger. And there's, there's a little bouquet of roses. That's sweet. And then here's a lullaby. Oh, here's weeping. It's talking about a fear in the song, so I guess this is the, the un, the chained up fear. And then here's now or never. Oh, look at that, bro. Oh my gosh. Love that chandelier. <gasps> 
And then of course you raise me up. That's sweet, an angel. Oh, and this was a Celtic woman song. The sky, the dawn, and the sun. That's pretty, and I think this is, yep, this is when I started to get in. I'd like to redraw this one. So we'll redraw this awesome looking girl with this dragon. Let's do it. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into this. I really like that I chose this because I really, in the end, I loved the outcome. So this is just, this is just exciting for me because the sketchbook, I said 15 and 16, so this was about 2005 to 2006. And I was in high school, so I was a sophomore in high school at the time. And I would draw all the time in my classes, just any time around school at all. And you can see that towards the end, when I did the Josh Groban song illustrations, that I started to get into folds. And I said that, oh, this is when I started to get into folds. And when I mean folds, I wanted to get better at ball gowns and dresses in general. And I remember my senior year in high school, I went ahead and I started to concentrate on 1800s clothing and just the lifestyle. And that was my concentration for my portfolio to send in for my AP art class so I could get out of the first couple of AP art classes in college. So that's when I really started focusing on folds is in high school and I really wanted to get used to drawing dresses and the way I did that was I, I'll have to do that for next week. I think I was in the 11th grade when I did this particular sketchbook I'll show you next week. But that's when I started to pick up some prom magazines. At the time it was springtime and it was prom. So I would pick up the prom magazines and I would put my friends in the dresses. But I would make the dresses that were exactly from the page. But I would put my friends in the dresses. So, I don't know about you guys, but I just really wanted to give this girl kind of... I, I, in my picture, she was an elf. So I thought, well, she's definitely not a human, so let's go ahead and make her not pointy-eared, but let's go ahead and make her some kind of elf. And I don't know. I don't know what you guys are thinking. I don't know. I looked at her and I thought Luna and her dragon would be Opal but Opal I this is definitely a boy dragon and you could tell from the original picture it was a boy dragon and I didn't know if Opal was appropriate for a dragon's name so I don't know about you guys but I don't know what to call I, I maybe thought maybe the dragon name could be iridescent but that's still that sounds a little too girlish for a boy dragon but when I came to the dragon and um, Luna, I wanted them to look like either they were from the sea or from a dark area or you know I don't need I don't mean like dark I just wanted them to look like they could blend in in a dark area probably like Ireland or <laughs> Scotland I have no idea you know blend in the hills and then I don't know I just like I, I felt like I was getting this sort of how to train your dragon vibe from this whole doodle as well and this was way before how to train your dragon even was released on any anything movies anything so I was I never read the how to train your dragon books either so I was just I, I was looking at all these pictures that I showed you in the sketchbook and I thought I have a serious how to train your dragon thing going on and I'm completely obsessed with all these girls having pet dragons <laughs> which is crazy but um anyways if you could tell in a lot of those doodles in my sketchbook, I was just really trying to figure out body proportions and you could see I was trying both boys and girls. So I was just trying to figure them out and you could still, still see that it's way too out of proportion as well as the hands. I think that I could really focus on hands in this book and at the time, I just wanted to focus on drawing myself with my friends or with my cousins. Uh, that's what I really enjoy about this sketchbook that I can, I love how you can, do you do that when you get a sketchbook and you look back and you know exactly where you are in life and how happy you were, even though you might have thought that, oh my goodness, my life was a catastrophe at the time, but just looking back at sketchbooks, you just know, oh, that wasn't really that bad of a night, a bad area I was in my life. I was actually really happy, but I was completely love struck. Man, I just wanted a boyfriend in high school <laughs> and mostly just Josh Groban. But it's just so cool to go back and look at sketchbooks and just be able, it's like reading an old diary. And I never kept diaries, but my sketchbooks are as close as I get for diaries. And it serves as the same purpose. I know where I am. I know what's going on in my life at that moment during that year.
but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys will continue with me um on these other drawing days i'm gonna do about four more of these so this is number one i'm gonna do a total of five i'm gonna go through pick some of my favorite sketchbooks and just re doodle doodle a lot of these <laughs> but my goodness it is so nice to see an improvement wow i mean here is I think I was 16. Yeah, 16 years, 16 year old self to the right. And then here is 27 year old to the left. Little Priscilla, you have grown a lot. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, I'm gonna do four more. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you can relate to going back to your old drawings and redoodling them. And thanks for watching again. Have a wonderful day. 